I'm afraid what I'm going to say may shock some of you, but the most difficult people to deal with are people who have two kinds of spirit. One is the Holy Spirit and the other is not. Now people will tell you, but the Holy Spirit wouldn't dwell in an unclean vessel. That's wrong. The Holy Spirit does dwell in unclean vessels. If he didn't, we'd have no hope. Some people take the attitude the Holy Spirit will only come in when you're completely pure. But the Holy Spirit comes in to make us pure. Without him, we cannot be purified. So we need him. It's, it's like if a professor at a university would say to his class, now when you've passed your exams, I'll teach you. And he, they'd say, but professor, we need you to teach us to pass our exams. After all, David committed adultery and murder and prayed, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And God didn't. So if anything defiles, adultery and murder do. But the Holy Spirit did not leave David. That was the grace and mercy of God. Aren't you glad that the Holy Spirit doesn't leave you every time you do something wrong? You know, Jesus in Mark 7 lists 13 things that defile a man. And one of them is pride, one of them is foolishness. Dear Lord, how many spirit-filled Christians would there be left if every time we got proud or foolish, the Holy Spirit left us? So the Holy Spirit does dwell in vessels that are not totally pure. 